Next out of the bag comes a naval story, the story of swinging the lead. The nautical way and not how old soldiers were supposed to do it. As every schoolboy knows, the earth has a total area of nearly 197 million square miles. Land, 55 million square miles, and water, 141 and a half million. For those who prefer things neat, that's a large amount of water. In fact, two and a half times more water than land. The water is comprised mainly of five oceans, and here's their relative size. See how the continents compare with the oceans. Here again are the relative sizes. The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest, and in some parts it could accommodate the world's highest mountain. Sounding the sea is an L of a job. In fact, the three L's of the old-time navigator. Log, the ship's journal, latitude for position, and lead, the depth of water under the ship. The only known way of discovering this depth in the early days was actually to swing over the side of the ship a measured line and a 14-pound lump of lead. The bottom of the lead was smeared with tallow for collecting samples of the ocean bed. Then came Lord Kelvin's invention, a depth sounder consisting of a length of wire attached to a heavy weight or sinker. Just above the sinker is a metal case containing a glass tube. The open end is downwards, and it's coated inside with silver chloride. The deeper the lead sinks, the higher the water level in the tube. And on the amount of chloride discoloration can be based the depth. Nowadays, depth is sounded by echo. A gun on one side of the ship causes a small bomb to explode a few feet below. A starting microphone picks up the sound waves as they pass downwards, and an echo microphone opposite picks up the sound as it travels upwards. That action starts and stops a time recording instrument. Inside the ship is a depth indicator with bead at the top on a scored dial. Almost immediately after the gun is fired, the depth is automatically recorded. The sound waves travel at nearly 5,000 feet a second. Half of that, roughly, gives the depth. Swinging the lead, believe us, is a very deep business. And here's a very enterprising...